The Soviet Union's lunar program began in the late 1950s and was the first to successfully reach the moon. Luna 1 was the first spacecraft to reach the moon in 1959, though it didn't land, and Luna 2 became the first to impact the moon. Luna 9 was the first to send back photos from the lunar surface in 1966. The N1 was the USSR's answer to the American Saturn V rocket. Designed to send cosmonauts to the moon, the N1 rocket was plagued by technical difficulties and all four test flights ended in failure. The collapse of the N1 program in 1974 marked the end of Soviet crewed lunar ambitions. Venera 1 in 1961 was the first Soviet mission to Venus, although it lost contact before reaching the planet. Venera 7 in 1970 was the first successful mission to land on Venus and transmit data back to Earth. It provided valuable information about Venus's extreme surface conditions, including the high temperature of 475 degrees Celsius and atmospheric pressure 90 times Earth's. Venera 9 and 10 in 1975 sent back the first images from the Venusian surface, showing rocky terrain and confirming the harsh conditions on Venus. Venera 13 and 14 in 1982 delivered the first and only color images of Venus's surface and also recorded sounds from the planet. The Almaz program was a series of Soviet space stations developed for military purposes, but officially presented as research stations. Salyut 1 in 1971, the first space station, though it was a part of the Almaz program, was mainly for military reconnaissance. Salyut 3 in 1974 was known for housing a space-based weapon, a 14.5mm machine gun intended for satellite defense, marking the USSR's serious interest in space warfare. According to declassified documents, the Soviets planned a lunar base called Zvezda. It was to be equipped with everything needed to sustain human life, including nuclear reactors, greenhouses, and scientific laboratories. One of the more speculative parts of the Zvezda program involved the creation of a self-digging habitat designed to burrow into the moon's surface, offering protection from radiation and meteor impacts. This design concept mirrored concepts seen in modern Mars colonization proposals. The inability to develop a reliable heavy-lift rocket like the N1 or later Vulcan prevented the base from becoming a reality. The Salyut 3 space station, launched in 1974, was equipped with a 14.5mm cannon designed for use against enemy satellites. The gun fired 20 rounds at a target satellite, though details of the test remain classified. The Soviet Union reportedly developed a prototype laser weapon for use in space, capable of blinding enemy satellites' sensors. This was part of the USSR's broader effort to maintain military dominance in space. Many Soviet space missions were classified and failures were often hidden from the public eye. This includes numerous failed attempts to land on Venus and to develop the N-1 rocket. As a result, Many of the true details of the Soviet space program didn't become known until after the collapse of the USSR in 1991. A secret Soviet spacecraft named Luni Korobo was reportedly used to transport a rover to the moon as part of a broader plan for lunar colonization. This rover could drill into the lunar surface to create habitats beneath the ground, using lunar soil for protection against radiation and meteor impacts. The Zvezda base would have been constructed with these kinds of self-digging machines, and the rover's role would have been to prepare the surface for human habitation. Would you like more information on one of these topics, or perhaps details on specific space missions or designs? Let me know if you're curious about specific technical aspects, or would like more insight into any of these fascinating Soviet space programs.